Hello everyone, Schoolhouse Intuitive Tarot. I hope you're all doing well and having a wonderful weekend if you're celebrating the weekend. Let's get started with some tarot for uh, Libra. Any placement you may have or cross watchers, everyone's welcome here. And um, you know, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't even have to be one of the main uh, placements. Please check out the description box for the disclaimer and other important information, such as the decks that I use. And remember, you have free will, final say, and your intuition does know best. Um, and we're going to start out with some oracle cards. We'll move to tarot, then back to some oracle cards. I am going to pull cards specific for love, abundance, career, prosperity, and a few cards for, um, yeah, no, love, abundance, prosperity, career, all that. So more towards the end, we'll do that. And then we'll close out with a few other messages from spirit. So we have, remember, love is key. Card six, love what you have in your life right now. So, you know, simple message basically of being grateful. All right. Being grateful. And card 11, be authentic. Okay. Your way is the only way for you. Making your own decisions, you know. Realizing the power you have. And card 10. Interesting. I just said power. And we have no no longer holds power over you. So something or someone may not no longer hold power over you. Dissolve attachments of the past with love. You know, the best we can. It is, it is important for us to, you know, when we're saying goodbye to something or, you know, taking something out of our life, it is, it is good if we can to release it in such a way that we don't have strong feelings towards it anymore, like anger or guilt or anything like that. Um, so it is, it is important if we know how to transmute the energy. Maybe some of you are Reiki workers or Reiki practitioners or light workers in some other way, or, um, you know, you're just, you're incredibly spiritual and, um, maybe that's why you're drawn to these readings, but letting things go in light and love whenever we can do it is is really what's best for everyone um because at one point there was something that drew the two of you together whether it was a relationship or uh, a business opportunity or something there was something attractive there at the beginning and um i just saw two 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 so that may be a relevant number or a date for some of you uh, i do pay attention to those um you know angel numbers master numbers that sort of thing so with this being a 10, it could be that, yes, you are closing out some sort of cycle. It could involve love, but it could be something that was near and dear to your heart. It doesn't have to be romantic love. And maybe you weren't feeling as though um, your autonomy or your, your, your opinion or, or um, choices was being fully respected. That's one possibility for someone. You know, not everything's going to fit. Oh, and I do want to point out, while this is a weekly reading for this end of July, beginning of August 2023, time's fluid so it's going to be approximate and you're not going to find that everything resonates these are general readings also i channel as we're doing the readings if you haven't watched me before those messages are timeless all right okay let's get into tarot and see what's going on for the wonderful libras and cross watchers first card out you have Six of Wands. Next, we have Knight of Swords. I will show the cards. And one more for now, Page of Wands. So we do have some fire energy. We have um, sort of a fast moving energy too. We have the Six of Wands here. This is gonna be Leo energy, Jupiter energy. This is about expansion. This is you being recognized. So maybe that you weren't be, you weren't before, you were maybe undervalued, underappreciated. And this is, we have a time upcoming, maybe you're already in it where there is, is some sort of victory. Now you might not be, you know, floating into town on your horse with your laurel here, but and with a whole crowd here, but, um, but it could be some sort of small win for you that, you know, every win is still a win, right? No matter how big or small. And sometimes the small wins can lead to big successes. So six of wands. And then we have the Knight of Swords. And this is a very fast moving energy, fastest night in the entire deck. This is going to be air sign energy, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. And this person's, you know, they're moving so fast, they're out of their seat. Uh, very, it looks very, they look very determined here, but they're not kings, they're not queens. This is a knight, so it's still sort of a younger energy, um, maybe someone who doesn't quite know everything, even though they might, you know, 
want to move quickly and be impulsive. This is, if it's a love situation you're tuning in for, um, this could be a very in and out sort of energy or someone who really kind of jumps into things, uh, maybe before closing things out in something else or just a very, again, a very, sort of a hyper energy. I'm picking up on a hyper energy. Um, I'm also picking up on like a loudness, like some sort of loudness um, and something to do it because I'm, I'm hearing megaphone. So, you know, take it as it resonates or don't, but um, that could mean something. Um, I don't know if it's some sort of event where there is a megaphone or if this person always feels like they have to be the center of attention. This could be a Gemini you're dealing with too. I'm feeling um, page of wands here. We have earth energy and fire energy with this. And, um, and actually with this, with this, we have fire in air as well. It's very fiery, passionate, gung ho kind of energy. Um, the page of wands, it is, you know, wands is fire. So that's Sagittarius Leo Aries, but this also has, again, an element of earth to it. So the page of wands, um, that's usually pretty inspirational. That's usually, uh, it could be some sort of spark of intuition, imagination, inspiration. So it could really kind of get you heading in a direction where you want to be. Let's keep going though. Uh, overall right now we have the page of pentacles. Um, and this is going to be uh, earth energy overall, all around. And we have goat here too. So this could be Capricorn energy. Um, there's also, um, I'm picking up on cancer, even though it's not at all a water card or something could happen maybe in cancer season. And this person is really thinking over this opportunity. I feel that they have some things a little more organized or you're going through a time right now where you're wanting to organize things. And this looks like it is a good opportunity, but you know, in the, we have this person in the country and then in the background, you can see some sort of uh, buildings, like the city's not that far. Some of you could be making a move. It could be a career move. Some of you may be actually flat out moving, um, but this is moving along, moving ahead. Okay. And you know, you have two pages now and the pages are the messengers. You know, you could be getting some new news coming in. This could involve your career, your finances. Uh, and it looks like, you know, I see this mountain in the background. This isn't after, this is after a time that was at least a little bit difficult. Okay. And that could be an understatement for some of you. I'm also picking up on July 20th, which just happened not that long ago. Uh, this person's wearing their, um, their, uh, their boots here. Like they're, they've had to walk through some you know what. Um, and I feel as though this energy is sort of like a no longer taking any, you know what from anybody. Um, so, but if they need to, they'll do it again. If they need, you know what I mean? Like they'll, they're going to do what it takes to get the life that they want and they know they deserve. So this is fiery energy here. And then, um, you know, that, that offer here and knowing a good thing when it comes, that's coming up. Um, I do have paint on me. I just want to let you know I was I was painting outside of my office, so um, <laughs> I have paint all over me. But I wanted to get your reading out in time. Uh, I try to do these uh, Sundays, you know, around the same time three three thirty four o'clock. Um. Oh, and then you have one of my favorite cards, and this is going to be um, uh, is that oh Virgo energy? Okay, Virgo energy, and we have Nine of Pentacles. It's you know, the Nine of Pentacles is a very independent card. It's um, that having made it kind of card. It's um, being able to provide for oneself. It's, you know, looking good too, looking good, feeling good, being really, um, oh, there's an element of having to be brave and having and doing things on your own. There's a level of commitment here. This person has had to be committed in order to uh, really see the fruits of their labor. As you can see, they have grapes here. This is also giving me a vibe of like, again, there's mountains in the background and I'm getting a whole like, when you're given gra grapes, make wine, you know, instead of lemons, lemonade, it's grapes and wine here. And it's, it's like making the most of your circumstances. That kind of brings me back to, um, you know, love what you have in your life right now. So it's important to be loving yourself, loving, um, you know, what, what is working, what, what does appreciate you, what you appreciate, what brings you joy, what lights you up. Um, you have the Hierophant card too, and this is um, card five, and it's Taurus energy. This is, uh, you may be seeking counsel here, um, possibly, and you may also be, um, okay, I just, 
I'm sorry, there's a little distraction here. I just saw um, my neighbor drive away on the lawnmower here. So anyway, we'll just, you know, let's be neighborly. That's fine. So actually, you may find that someone's going to want to borrow something from you soon. Um, just letting you know that could happen because I've never seen my neighbor drive away on our lawnmower, but that's okay. That's obviously he has permission. <laughs> so that's like random, so random. Anyway, yeah, you could be seeking counsel or needing advice or support from, from someone else. They could need it from you at this time. You may be the wise one in someone else's life. You may have the answers that they seek or something that they need from you. Um, now, the Nine of Pentacles, though, I'm coming back to this. This is a person who knows where to put their resources. This isn't somebody who just, you know, because look, if this person's giving, they're doing that after they're all set, they've worked hard, they have plenty of, you know, pentacles here for themselves. And yes, they're willing to part with these three because they know that, hey, it may even be an investment opportunity, you know, uh, giving you may receive. And that's not really why we give, but it is sort of like what you what you want, you have to give out, you know, you give, you get back what you give out, that sort of whole thing there. Um, so colors, we're seeing a lot of blue and yellow. This is like solar plexus energy, also throat chakra energy. So this is speaking out, being confident in, in how you present yourself and express yourself and know that um, your thoughts, your, your um, voice, your opinions, your beliefs are just as powerful as anything anyone else has to say. And um, you'll find that you really are the keeper of the keys to your success, all right? Um, I'm just seeing what else I get off of this. I'm getting something, yeah, about balance, balance, you know, give and take here. Uh, I'm getting something about, oh, some of you will be learning. Some of you may be learning, but there's also, you need, you'll know about, um, the right time I'm seeing this, uh, what looks like a cobra could be a python. I don't know. But anyway, it's, um, that's knowing when to take take charge. When it's knowing when to um, go after this opportunity. And so knowing when to go after that. Now we're hearing the mowing happening. <laughs> Sorry about all the noise, but you know it is summer and people have free will and and grass that grows. So, all right. So we have that. The date September fifth could mean something to you, or right around there. Um, I'm getting some brother energy coming through as well for some of you. I don't know if you have a brother or son who's crossed over, but I am getting that. All right, let's keep going and see what else is coming up for you. We have the Ten of Pentacles. All right, so this is, again, more Virgo energy. So I am picking up on September. For some of you, there's something about September. That could be when something comes to... Um, full circle for some of you. That could be when a completion happens. Um, it could also be a celebration of some kind of big deal. Uh, it could be a remembrance too, but um, you have the world card and then you have the high priestess. All right. These are fabulous cards for you. Um, now this is going to be moon energy. So it could be cancer Pisces with the world card. Uh, that's card 21 balancing things out. That's really having everything you need to, um, to have the life that you want. I feel like this belongs over here underneath the uh, Nine of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and Hierophant. So then you have, all of a sudden, you have a lot of major arcana coming in once I mentioned September. And so this Ten of Pentacles, again, more Virgo energy, as I said. And it's, it's about um, family... I'm getting something about... I'm hearing the word contribution. So it could have, again, something to do with like... And then we have the yin and the yang, and we have the 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 nine of pentacles here, the giving and the sharing, and and um, you know the whole lawnmower thing that happened. There's something here about you contributing to something, or maybe someone's going to decide they want to contribute to your cause or some sort of mission. But I am getting something about somebody having some sort of very important goal or mission. This could come to fruition. Your mission could come to fruition. Um, it may be in September. I'm also picking up on uh, canine energy. You know, loyalties. Um, companionship some of you may have that i'm getting i'm hearing nebraska as well right now and evans evans okay Annalie, Annalie. um now the high priestess is sitting very comfortably here relying on their intuition um there's that enlightenment this person this um this this character is actually levitating right now and so 
just, they're not really letting anything weigh them down. They're very comfortable. They've got the water here, that water energy. So some of you could be dealing with the water energy. I'm um, getting something about magic though. So you could have somebody, um, it could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio even, who has tried to literally, um, hearing, I'm hearing out Fox. They're try, they've tried to outfox you, maybe. They've probably maybe tried that. But um, with your intuition the way it is and your connection to source and your own self, um, I'm getting that you're you're still radiating brightly. You're not letting anybody uh, again come in and try to try to um, you know get you away from your own power, authenticity, and and uh, appreciation for what you do have right now, Libra and viewers. Hmm. Um, I'm just seeing a lot of fruit coming through in here. So this is a time of creation, fertility. Uh, dividends paying off. Um, I just heard cosmic alignment. Some of you may be going through an actual ascension right now. Uh, there's something about uh, tenfold. So this could have something to do about what you give. You're going to get back tenfold. Maybe some of you are saying that or may, that's like a mantra you use or something, but I'm kind of hearing, I'm almost getting like someone writing a check or something and then um, it's getting tenfold in your billfold. Like whatever you give out, you're going to get back tenfold. Or maybe um, either you already say that and that's what I'm picking up on or um, you've heard that or you're you're going to think of some sort of ways to manifest specifically with money. Uh, also, some of you are wanting to take a vacation or wanting to travel. I'm hearing that coming to light. Okay, that's, that's coming to fruition as well. If that's something that you've been thinking about. I'm hearing the name Tina as well. Oh, and there's something about, I'm, I'm getting Alicia, I'm getting dandelion aspect. There's something about the aspect of, of making a wish of, um, bringing the sunshine into your life and planting the seeds that will then, um, help you refine what it is you want, help you manifest more clearly. You're going to be also getting help as far as the bravery piece. I'm hearing Benjamin too, Ben could be something, or Benny, um, Bentley too. I'm hearing Adams and Will, Wilhelmina, Dustine. So there's, there's all these, I was getting Dustin and Emma earlier. Um, and I'm getting something about uh, possibly being some sort of contradiction or, con or conflict or something, or they're either coming together and Emma and uh, Dustin or something are coming together or they're coming apart. There's something about their commitment though or how they're connected is important as well. And I know that's probably only going to be for one person, but I do hope that everyone finds their message. I'm hearing Sylvester as well. Okay. So, oh, we have the Queen of Swords. I don't know why some cards I see. But, oh. <laughs> but um, you know, you have the freedom to be yourself here and now. I'm getting that. That is a, that is a quote. Um, it's from like John and there's something about seagulls. Mm, there is a book. There is a book. Um, there's a book written a long time ago and a quote from it is, I think you have the power to be yourself here and now. I can't recall who it's by, but that's coming through. So, and also grandmother of some kind or yeah, grandmother is coming through for some of you who've, who've crossed over. It's grandmother who's crossed over. All right, they're free, by the way, they're free. They were with you when you were a baby. I know that. Um, but I don't I don't know when they left, okay? This person could have had a very, like, something striking about their appearance. I don't know if it was hair color, eyes, lipstick, or the way they dressed, but they were very, there's some color there. I don't know, maybe they were artists, but they were very free-spirited or something, but... Um, that's coming through too. Well, the Queen of Swords is someone, again, we were talking about it with these boots, um, you know, who's not going to take any any flack or whatever from anybody. Um, they're going to cut that out right there. This, this queen made a decision too. And when I look at the Hierophant card, um, I'm getting similar energy. Like, like they're, this person is clear on where they want to go, what they're doing, and we're getting uh, air and water energy with this, okay? And, um, so I don't know if the relationship involves air and water for you or if you have a lot of air and water in your charts. 
uh, but that's coming through. I want oh okay again with the divinely led divinely led but so this is a specific again if somebody's grandmother this could even be like a grandmother from many generations ago okay that's that's coming through i'm hearing something about the opinions of others really don't matter and i'm also getting get your head out of the clouds some of you know and you're not acting on something and i'm hearing a little bit of um i'm hearing gilbert too or gilmore sometimes when i get names they're not exact because I'm, I'm clairaudient is one of my clairs and they sometimes it comes through a little muffled so I might have the right like last you know it might be like I might hear Gilmore but it could be it could actually be like Fillmore or Dillmore or so you know what I mean like it could be um something like that or Maybe it's not even a name, but some of you are. I'm also picking up now on regulations and finances. Some of you need to avoid overspending at this time, even though it is like so fun to treat yourself and all that. Um, just, you know, being mindful because some of you actually I'm uh, picking up have, um, have experienced times of debt or where you kind of got yourself into a little bit of a financial jam uh, and, and have had to dig yourself out. And this may have happened more than once, uh, like with credit card bills or student loan or whatever it was, but there's some sort of like debt there. And then having, I'm getting hearing 5,000 too, but then having, um, maybe you always wanna have 5,000 in the bank or something like that. Or if, you know, that's like, you always wanna make sure you have a nest egg. I'm getting something, you need to have some sort of backup there, like a backup plan or back, a savings, a nest egg or something. Um, but then that vacation's coming up again. So, so, you know, that could be something that's stopping you from taking a vacation, the finances here. Six of Cups here you have. This is, uh, oh, and Hummingbird Joy. I saw Hummingbird right before this, this, uh, I want to say meeting. <laughs> uh, went right before this, um, that's the former special educator administrator in me, this meeting, you know. <laughs> it's like, if I'm at a table, I'm at a meeting, you know, <laughs> but not anymore. So um, this is, um, you know, right before this reading, um, so again, that the grandmother energy is coming through. I just heard Pawpaw as well. So Pawpaw and Hopkins, Hopkins. So uh, this is Scorpio energy with the Six of Cups here. Could be somebody, uh, you may have to look back on your past to figure something out. There might be a lesson there or someone could be trying to come in from your past. But cause like, look what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing it like, the queen of swords is looking right at that six of cups here and they it's like this person's like you know i see you i see you i see what's going on like looking back at the past and there's a reason it's something about um that three of wands wants to come out there's something about um it's, there's more fire energy you have you're pretty even mix here actually except you don't have a whole ton of no actually you do you have plenty of everything Mm, seems to be mostly pentacles and um, wands though but the three of wands here this is going to be whoops aries energy and i just was thinking this is something about there's that travel look somebody's ready to go on a journey of some kind of destination i feel as though i'm actually picking up on full energy here right now and that this is something about um oh there's something here too about a ship being yeah it's like safe in the calm waters but ships are meant to be are meant to go explore and you know we have to take risks in order to do that something along those lines new growth here i'm getting that though that traveling is on the mind here for some of you only for some of you thinking it over analyzing that uh somebody may want to come see you or you them you could be thinking about going on some sort of treat or something retreat um but I'm getting Aries energy here too. Oh, it is Aries actually, never mind. But I'm getting that full card here. And I'm getting that because this is sort of a, you know, being optimistic with the colors here. I'm getting that feeling. And also um, only traveling very lightly, the one small pack here, just like in the full card. So it's remembering, it's if you're gonna look back on the past, Libra, if you have to for some reason or choose to, it's for the lesson, okay? That's what the backpack represents for me is that we don't take our past with us, we learn from it. So every once in a while you might open that pack up and okay, this lesson, right, right, and it reminds you of something. So you may be getting a reminder, especially in September. I don't know why September's coming in, but it doesn't have to be, but it could be. 
Let's see what else we have. I'm hearing something about, again, about finance. Now, you, again, the world card here, the intuition. Let me just look, do a little look over here. I want to do a little look over once over. This, actually, no, they just let me know. Okay, some of you are going to be making a judgment call. I can tell you that. Um, you have the Seven of Swords, Temperance, the Eight of Pentacles, okay? And, okay, and on top we have the Hanged One. So I did want to, I did want to, oh, wow, okay. But then you have the Ten of Cups and the Lovers. Wow, okay. What is going on here now, Libra? Look at that. The Ten of Cups and the Lovers. I love it for you. Ten of Cups and Lovers. Let's get a nice shot of that. Nice view. Oh, perfect. Good. <laughs> All right. So Seven of Swords. Okay. I, let me just sort through this here for some of you okay seven of swords so we're gonna we're gonna have first of all we have aquarius energy sagittarius energy and then we have what do you know virgo again all right so working very hard balancing things out um oh yes okay you're not cutting corners you're not letting anybody get away with anything either there's something somebody tried to get away with something and again they try to outfox you with that high priestess but if you're tuned in and you're listening to your intuition and you're keeping yourself grounded then that's there's no such thing as a, as like the sneak's not going to get you you know that sort of thing um and also the seven of swords doesn't always have to be some sort of bad energy it could be strategic it could be figuring it could also be taking um you know what's yours it could be um also um being very careful the steps you take, taking the very careful steps and also measuring, you know, and considering options very carefully, okay, in a situation, weighing the, um, weighing things carefully. Card 14 here with temperance, five, that has changed. Um, this is moderation again coming in, balance, healing. You have uh, an eagle here with a lion, you know, they're both uh, like, you know, um, like kings queens of of their um of their turf basically so it is feeling like i just get this feeling some of you really are elevating but it's not it's you know look at this i mean you're like just sort of going for it here and but willing to put in that work okay so we're getting that that's coming through there so this is definitely this first part here i've got a very victorious energy um be careful of someone trying to move in though quickly or try to convince you of something quickly. Um, we have the four of swords here. Take the time you need, okay? Take that time you need. Rest, recover, recuperate, retreat. And I've got um, the seven of cups here for you. So that was Libra energy with the four of swords. Um, again, expansion with Jupiter there. And then we have uh, Scorpio energy with the seven of cups. Remember, you have other opportunities don't be um, dazzled by some by a shine, something shiny. Don't be like tricked by shiny objects or just doing something for the money or that sort of thing. Um, Eight of, pa of Cups here. Some of you are going to make the choice to walk away. This is Pisces energy as well. And again, there's that backpack. They're leaving. They're going on a journey. Um, this could be a solo journey you want to take for yourself too, literally or figuratively, like spiritually. Now we have the Queen of Pentacles here, Libra, and this is going to be uh, Earth energy as well as water energy. And their fertility here with this rabbit, okay? This is going to be, oh wow, look at this. Oh, this is amazing. You have the Queen and King of Pentacles. Look at that. I just heard something about no is not an option. And I heard no means no. So like standing firm in your beliefs, these are, these are folks who do not get rattled easily, okay? They are king, queen status here. And they are not ones who, you know, once they make up their mind, they're doing it. Oh, and look at this. Actually, you, I love it when there's uh, moving forward, basically, like this. You've got the six, the seven, and the eight of cups. So that's, you know, moving forward, moving on from something or someone, okay? And this is putting you in this divine partnership, possibly, because we didn't even talk about the lovers and the ten of cups and the hanged one yet. We're going to get there as we wrap up the, the tarot part, and then we move on to your uh, oracle cards. So fertility cycles you know this is very maybe going about things in a very strategic way because rabbits you know they run in a zigzag fashion so they don't get captured easily so it, it's you know unfortunately though they do get captured there's so many of them too but anyway all right so again with the grapes more grapes this is you know financial success here i'm hearing harvey and waters or walters or walker even 
I just heard something about a Walkman. Okay, so some of you may remember when we had Walkmans. There could be some significance there with you and a Walkman, like, or somebody's Walkman that you have or something, or maybe you're gonna come across one, or maybe you just did recently, all right? So, yeah, and then with this one, you're gonna have, this is air and earth, so. There's a lot of uh, people here. You know, you've got court cards, you've got, um, you know, major arcana. So this is a big step, whatever this is, big step, but you're, you're putting in the, the steps. Um, take care of your mental health at this time. I'm not some sort of, I gave you the name Elise too, Elise, Alicia again, um, Elisa, but, and Morgan. Moxie, something about having Moxie. All right, I'm gonna this that old soda too, Moxie. Um, but, but anyway, Moxie was one of those things either you like it a lot or you don't. It's like kind of like black licorice as far as if you like it or you don't, or olives or something. Um, and so, oh, you know, okay, I'm picking up kind of now in like Italy, Spain, and Greece. So I don't know if you have some heritage from those areas, but it doesn't, this could be, you know, I'm getting all, all, all different kinds of, um, of people, you know, of uh, origin here, different origins. So it's it's not just that but right now it seems to be coming through uh or maybe your name's like rome or romeo roma or something but um or that's an important name for you some of you are getting a mixed breed a mixed breed or you say that you're a mixed breed or that you're a mutt or something because you have a lot of different like um a lot of different uh, like ancestors from a lot of different places okay so that could be um now let's take a look at this um you had the uh ten of cups which would be pisces energy and then you have gemini energy here with this lover's card this is um blissful this is getting what you want it doesn't have to be romance but it's something that aligns with you. So neither one of these have to be romance, okay? But it is something that aligns with you. Again, this could also be Gemini energy. I believe I said in the very beginning of the reading, you could be dealing with a Gemini. Okay, there's more Gemini. And you know what, actually, Libra? That came through, I just did an August reading for, it's an, a reading for air signs. And it's timeless, but it's also, you know, for around August of this year. And that came through as, um, yeah, you having a, a Gemini um, in your life that might be causing some difficulty or something. But right now I'm getting, it doesn't have to be difficulty or anything. It, it could, the Gemini connection you have, it's maybe it's in your chart or something, but there's something about not, it's, it's neither good nor bad here nor there. It just is, all right? So it could just be Gemini energy I'm getting. It could be a split decision too. It's a split decision. And you're maybe, um, yeah, again, weighing options. I'm getting weighing options again strongly. Mm. Queen and King of Pentacles, that's sort of, you know, mothering, fathering energy combined. So it could be a power couple even. Um, feeling King of Cups too, actually, even though it's not here. Now, I'm hearing a name, Denisha, or Isha, something about, or Nisha. I'm getting that. And then like a name like Muat, Muat, Mu or Muan. Okay, Monet, Mo, all right. So yeah, this, I mean, it's like, it's happiness. It's like, yeah, you're happiest at the end of the rainbow or rainbow created just for you. Again, you have the snake here. This is when, when um, something, you know, it's like shedding to be better, you know, shedding what no longer serves you, getting rid of that, uh, dropping that kind of weight there. Some of you actually maybe, and uh, by the way, I mentioned, you know, melt to health and take care of yourself and all that. Um, and I am actually getting, I'm hearing the name Sue as well, but I'm not a, a therapist or anything or a doctor or a dietitian or any of that. So just please remember that um, you have free will. And, uh, but I'm picking up on, again, this came up during the reading I did for air signs where I did Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, each had their own separate reading. Feel free to check that out. But it came through in the Libra reading, the, um, something about dietitian, nutritionist. Some of you are really sort of re revamping, um, and you're actually maybe wanting to shed weight or something 
you're shedding light on things in order to shed what no longer serves you is that's coming through okay um and then i'm gonna get one more card here for something about your evolution too oh wow another queen here queen of wands you've got that fiery energy so here we have water and fire and we've got that very independent very clever and very um intuitive kitty cat here black cats maybe some of you like black cats i'm hearing something about diamond as well diamond mm. some of you i'm hearing that song shine bright like a diamond but there's something about you knowing your worth here mm -hmm. queen of wands knows their worth they're confident this could also be leo energy you know we have the lions here i'm getting lovers so i'm coming back to this okay so there could that could connect somehow to the lovers knowing your worth okay knowing your worth that's how you get that ten of cups energy right that happiness maybe the family you want the situation you want maybe but it's finding something that's in alignment okay and um and not ignoring red flags and things like that okay queen of wands this is a really great reading i love it for you oh, okay and um and I was saying I felt the King of Cups, and here's the King of Cups that was on the bottom of the deck. This is always, you know, reminds me of Prince. Uh, and this is some creative energy right now, very creative. I mean, Prince was extremely creative, right? Um, and this is, um, of course, water energy and also air energy combined. So this is someone who's very, they remain balanced. Like they can appear really out there or something or really like, you know, uh, a cut above the rest, again, diamonds, to, to cut up a di diamond. Some of you might be getting engaged or there's just something about you knowing that you are a diamond um, in that. Maybe you haven't even been discovered yet or you, ha you don't even realize your own worth, but this is coming through for you um, to know, you know, to, to realize how amazing you are. And you also have the right to be yourself. Again, you have the freedom to be yourself here and now. If this person wants to wear, you know, high heel booties and and um, a ruffle shirt and things that you wouldn't normally see every day. Great. And guess what? This person's a legend. You know, if we're saying this is Prince, that's what makes this person a legend is that they're not tied into this little box, this, oh, you know, you're expected to do this, this, and this in life. No. No one decides your worthiness. Okay. And no one defines you. You do. So King of, King of Cups energy, you know, that's also someone who is very compassionate, but they don't let their emotions sweep them off their feet, right? So again, it's like, I love seeing the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups together. Love that. Um, you know, the fact that this is like, you would think that they're opposites, but no, they're not opposites. Sometimes do attract in this case. Absolutely. Look at that. They look like they belong together. If we put them this way, <laughs> we've got a... Uh, the male female does not it doesn't matter here in these readings okay um but look at that i love that i just love that it's like yeah that's right they each know that they are uh, amazing <laughs> and together well even better right you know you could get some sort of king queen situation going but you don't have to you can have queen queen king king whatever um but it's it's uh we're getting something here you becoming legendary there's something about you becoming legendary in some way all right taking flight i don't know if you can hear it we don't get a lot of planes here but we have a small plane flying over now all right and oh yes and then the hanged one which we did not talk about okay card 12 so this is like getting that enlightenment pause get the enlightenment figure it out is what i'm getting we have to take the time to figure it out figure it out you'll figure it out whatever it is you'll figure it out and you will have the resources you need it looks like all right well that's cool <laughs> i'm hearing denisha or denisa and next, let's go on and uh, we're gonna, now we have our, our key themes here. We're gonna move on and we're gonna do some Oracle cards. So let's start out with your fortune here. Or um, opportunities coming. We have card 23, product, productivity, success, duality, spiritual peace, health, harmony, pay raise, promotion, recognition. Hey, this is good news. This is one euro here. That's not very much, but but every bit helps, right? Like I said, every win helps when it comes to success. Every every small win is a, is a victory. And, you know, all those little victories add up and then you're a huge success. And getting something about you really becoming a legend, known for something. Even if you're just the nicest person on your street, 
you're a legend in your own right for that. You know what I mean? When I say nicest person on the street, I mean, maybe you're, you know, someone who checks on your neighbors and you just, you do what you can. Maybe you don't have much, but, but you do what you can with what you have. And not only do you appreciate what you have and express gratitude, but other people do as well. Violets, card 97, the year 1997 may mean something to you. Devotion and dedication, nourishment, joyful home, good relationships. Yeah, again, there's something here about, again, being uh, neighborly, I'm getting. Manifesting love and new projects, new love of projects and people. Mm -hmm. Violet, that's a name too. And also it's like crown chakra activation too. Clouds, finding clarity and goals and choices. Have faith things will get better. New growth in areas of your life, card 21. Now I was seeing this actually. I was seeing that when we had the queen of swords. That's, I was seeing that. Because look at, look at the garment here we have, okay? And, and the Queen of Swords is all about clarity. Seeing through things, seeing through, seeing through um, illusions, right? Seeing through illusions with the Queen of Swords, being able to make a choice, all right? The best choice. And next for, let's do this. We have, uh, okay, we have inauthenticity wow so you have be authentic and then in this card here we have oh okay this is a, a block it could be a potential hidden block here ignoring who you truly are authentically is is actually hurting you it could hurt you so be authentic live authentically follow your desires and allow align your life with your truest self and it will lead to long-term satisfaction in comparison to pursuing a life that does not align with you all right, so again, alignment here, okay? You had that lover's card. I was talking about alignment, all right? And also you had, uh, there was something else about alignment here. Um, I just heard something, okay, don't be afraid of the boogeyman. There is no such thing as the boogeyman. Some of you need to know that. There's no such thing as the boogeyman, all right? So some of your fears or feeling uh, controlled are, are not actually true. There's something about that. Small dreams, dream bigger. Not dreaming big enough that you can create a, a for, oh, we have a lot of butterflies coming through in this reading, a lot, a lot of them in the cards. So development, of course, uh, being free, uh, you know, taking the time to progress, not rushing it. Okay. The eight of pentacles does not rush. They perfect, they, they're, they stick with it. Some, we're getting some sun energy there too, actually. And so there's nothing to be ashamed of to have small dreams, but is that what you truly want? To reach higher heights, shift your mindset. Dream a bit bigger. You're capable of so much more. Some of you do not realize that. Procrastination. Maybe you've put something off. Maybe it's just cleaning your closet. You know, you're going through your clothes. Uh, you know, procrastinating, getting back to somebody or, or catching up on email or whatever it could be, all right? But prioritizing short-term relief results in negative consequences. So we don't want to cut corners, right? We're talking about that. We don't rush and cut corners here. Um, this is looking at your excuses and being honest about the things you put off to start making changes and open more doors to opportunities. Some of you actually set your alarm to 7 a.m. And I'm also picking up on a yellow coffee mug. Next, determination. All the effort you're making will ultimately pay off. Don't give up or give in. Keep on going. Keep on trucking. Okay. <laughs> For some of you. Opportunity. A golden egg of opportunity falls into your lap. This is a new job or promotion or move. All right. So we did see a lot of, I just heard totally Toledo. I don't know if you're moving to Toledo or what. Be vigilant. Look at that eyeball. Keep your eye on the prize. A new perspective is coming soon. I'm also getting Bruce Springsteen for some of you. Uh, Chicago Avenue even. Chicago I don't know. Keep your eyes open and be ready to flow with changes. I just heard Jersey. Be vigilant. All right. I just heard get your motor running. Head out on the highway. Looking for adventure. And whatever comes your way. All right. 15. Key. You have the hierophant here with a key. And you have the word key here in your very first card. New beginnings, directions, and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past. Yep, we've got to shed that old skin there. I'm getting something about pudding. 
I don't know if that's like a nickname or you like pudding or you made it or something about the pudding skin even. Eesh. All right, beware, card three. Be careful who you trust though. Just a nice reminder for us, be careful who you trust. And then proposal card 27. A romantic or business opportunity is indicated. So commitment, there's just some sort of commitment coming up, an opportunity commitment and um, that's that's awesome. I'm getting, um, let's get a few love messages. Oh, well, somebody wants to tell you I'm sorry. I hate how much I've hurt you. I'm so sorry for all the pain I've caused. You didn't deserve any of it. And I just heard some of you go, I know. I'm also seeing hot air balloons here. I'm getting something about like a childhood wish coming, coming true. Oh, here we have karmic ties. I know I need to release attachments with karmic people. I'm creating a plan to leave him or her. All right, now remember, love what you have. I was getting something about, oh yeah, um, dissolve attachments of the past with love, right? Letting go with love if we can here, which we can, it's just do we want to. Or, okay, six, mission. oh my goodness. I just said, I see hot air balloons here and look at this card. Hot air balloons. Okay, this per you could have known this person a very long time. You've had a lot of lives together or you've known them since childhood or something, but twin flames, this is about ascending and helping others do the same, considering it your mission. So you have two sixes here, right? This is about wanting to get that harmony, that balance. You have card one, timing and intentions. We need to wait for divine timing. Time is healing our wounds and creating the perfect conditions for a reunion. Some of you are going to get a message, though. Some of it, like a message, an offer of love, even a message of love. Card for, oh, but it may not come through as that. This person may not want to put themselves out outright, but there's something there. And, and you're going to probably know that. I'm getting Curtis as well. Karmic ties again. My and your children come first trust that they're part of the plan now if this isn't about children this is about your inner child needing to come first so prioritizing yourself and your own self-care all right and somebody actually for some of you there's been lasting kind of damage and that can't be it can't be resolved it looks like is what is what that's only for a very you know it's just for some of you obviously any of these messages are only for some of you so and I believe that in these readings, I'm never telling you anything you don't already know. Um, appreciate this moment, card 33. And again, that's like, you know, harmony here. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. And I heard something about give up the illusion, like nothing, we're not gonna cling to illusions here, right? That we're gonna close out what doesn't, what doesn't serve us. All right now and moving on that sort of thing so then we have oh what do you know <laughs> full circle completion the world card here you do have the world card that came through hmm. i'm not seeing it i don't know all right where is it it's good oh here it is okay these cards actually remind me of each other look at that so i'm putting this all together and this is about needing to let go maybe of something that you realize is just not going to happen or you know just allowing yourself to just find find um happiness no matter what the result is world card completion you have chosen to learn from your mistakes and move forward closing out the cycle remember we were getting that full energy every layer of yourself layer right because the snake sheds the skin the layers okay Every layer of yourself you acknowledge is a layer that served its purpose. You're now feeling your power by seeing your inner strength and determination pay off. Be proud of this moment and let it carry you forward. Wow, and look at that. We see a wolf here. Mm -hmm. Your inner wolf strength. Know you're protected, okay? Now the wolf, yeah, I mean, that's leadership energy too. So you've got what you need, basically. And next, we're going to get you an animal card or a couple. Let's get you, uh, how about three? I am getting, though, I must say, I'm hearing something about delusion, illusion. 
and like I'm also getting Connor, but like, and or it could be con her. So there could be somebody. I, they're not going to let me end this reading. Uh, my spirit guides aren't going to let your spirit guides. If they're here with me, who knows? But um, whoever's guiding this reading, this act of divination for us, um, they're letting me know I can't let you go without letting you be reminded of the fact that okay, not everybody deserves clemency, uh, and some things are you know they're just they're gonna have to heal as they are like there's not gonna be a total end date or final conversation or there's maybe not be the closure that you wanted but that doesn't mean that you can't heal from where you are right where you are you know you might not get that final clarity closure some of you but they're what they're really wanting me to tell you is delusion illusion confusion that's to be avoided there's something there could be some sort of toxic pattern thought patterns even or it is a person you may have felt hostage in a, in a relationship or you may feel hostage to some of your thoughts sometimes. Um, again, I'm not a mental health therapist or anything like that. I'm a tarot reader. Um, but yeah, there's something there. Um, avoid getting conned, right? I said earlier too, avoid tricky, uh, shining objects. Like think, don't be dazzled. Okay, and I don't feel like you are. And I feel like, again, that's somebody trying to outfox the fox that's coming through. But remember, the magic, you have the magic. You have the power to oversee it, overlook it, overcome it. Okay, well, not overlook it as far as ignore it, but don't let that be your vision and your focus. We had that seven of cups. We did have that, which is the illusion card, right? So you've got, and you had the seven of swords too, Okay. But you've also, you have, when you had these cards come out, you had 67, 6, 7, 7, eight. You're moving on from that, moving past that. You have the snow leopard. Take some time out of your usual life and spend it in solitude. You did, in fact, have the four of swords. And you also had the hanged one. Oh, tortoise. This is mother energy. Some of you may have that mother or mother figure or even grandmother who has passed on. This is your connection to Mother Earth. Get outside, get grounded, protect yourself when you need to. Not sticking your neck out when it's not worth it. I just saw a bunny go by, everyone, okay? I just saw a rabbit here. So you're, don't be too fragmented. Um, it says you're too fragmented, so do whatever it takes to get grounded. If you're feeling fragmented, do what it takes to get grounded, right? Spend time outside, do some breathing exercises, uh, take a shower, do whatever you need to do. You know, connect with an old friend or something. Wolverine. You, you're a lot tougher than you think you are. Some of you realize you're tough, but I don't know if you realize exactly how tough you are. Diamonds, okay, diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. Pressure, pressure, the heat, everything they endure, they go through, and yet they still shine. They have many facets. You have many sides to you, too. And here we are. Let's get our angel uh, numbers for you, and then we'll head out. 2332, time to pursue your passion. Time to pursue what you want most in life. It's all about you now. Oh, cool. And we have 222. Remember I saw 222 on the clock here? That's a sign of expansion. Your spirit, mind, and soul are growing. Awesome. Please do like, share, subscribe, comment. If you liked this reading, I would appreciate it. It helps me know what you enjoy and what I should do more of. Um, so I hope this helped. And um, I will see you soon. Thanks.